Welcome to Board Game Empire. Today we're going to do a review of Unearth by Brotherwise Games. It's two four players. It's a card drafting, dice rolling, variable powers type of game and kind of abstract in the way. And so there's very luck based, I would say, because of the, the dice rolling. But there are many strategies you could do. Just a great family game that you could uh, play with your family, your kids, uh, parents, grandparents. Because it's uh, very simple and simplistic to teach it, um, but just a little hard to master with uh, a lot of luck-based uh, factor to it. And so we're just gonna go straight to the review. So for the rules, I would give it a five out of five. Great rule book. And so it shows you the setting up the game, game components, object of the game. So for a four player game, turn order, event during your turn, resolve a claim to ruins, ties during claims, building wonders, and the age, win the game, a tie game, and FAQ. And so pretty much it covers everything in the root book. And it's very simple. So five out of five. Component quality, I would give like a four out of five. Uh, the cards are nice and thick, but they also are kind of bent easily. The pieces are thin cardboard. It can be just a little thicker, I guess. Um, but the cards are the only thing that uh, I thought should be a little bit better. The dice are extremely nice, well made. And I like the it's like a marble type look to it. So component quality, four out of five. Uh, experience, I would go four out of five. This is a great game, family game. Um, so we have uh, similar games to this game that are um, just a little different mechanics, uh, different look. But this is a game that we, a style that we kind of favor. I guess it is uh, pretty much a family game. And since we're a family, we, we enjoy these games. They're quick, easy, and just fun to play. So experience four out of five. Um, the only reason I, I removed one of the experience points is because it's extremely luck based. Um, there's times where you're just not going to roll anything. And so you just have to go for the actual, um, the great wonders, lesson wonders. You're not, or you'll have to go for these pieces and you won't be able to obtain the uh, main card to give you the most points. And I experienced that myself in the playthrough. And so that's why I'm just saying it experiences four out of five because the luck based factor could hamper someone's ex whole experience because it is, uh, you can roll uh, extremely bad at some points. And so four out of five mechanics, four out of five, um, th there are a lot of strategies to it, but the luck based factor to it, you just never know. And so what you're doing is, um, Oops, there's supposed to be, this indicates how many of these uh, tokens are gonna be in the bottom. And then once you, uh, let's see if we have enough room. And so you're gonna wanna put like a circle and then determined by the circle, that's gonna show, yeah, I think it's supposed to be total six. Once you get like six, then you can pretty much close it off and you are able to put one in the middle, and that one in the middle pretty much indicates that you, uh, so if I have that, pretty much I would be able to obtain this lesser wonder and put it in the middle. And the lesser wonder has two points, whereas the greater wonder goes from six to eight, lesser wonder is two to four. And the way you collect these, you roll, each person rolls one, unless you have one of these cards that allow you to roll two at a time. And so you have a, a D4, a D8, and three D6s. And what you do is you just roll, you put it in there, and then it's determined by who has the highest roll after each person's gone, or if someone's pretty much placed here and 
other players place elsewhere. So the highest number wins. If it's not the highest number, if you're tied, then the second highest number wins, and then the third. So pretty much it just keeps going to someone won. And so that's how you obtain these cards. These cards, pretty much it's, uh, you have to have one of each different color, or this one, one of uh, all the same color, and that's this. And the way you obtain these is if you, if you lose, obtain one of these cards, wherever, how many dice you have, you're able to, um, oh, actually, however many dice you have, it's how you obtain these. These, you're able to obtain if you get one to three in your dice roll. And so that's how you obtain those and do your little circle to get the lesser wonders. And these, like this one, you have to have four, four blue and one of each different colors or random. This one, you need to have four, four of the black ones, three of the black ones, and then it doesn't matter what color it is. And so that's how pretty much the mechanic works. And as you obtain each one of these, then you put a new one. And this is the score system. And so I would say the mechanics, I would give four out of five. Uh, because the whole game is, the premise is on the dice roll. And that's how you pretty much gain, gain anything or win. And so... It's very luck based. So mechanics, I'll give four out of five. Replayability, I would give five out of five. Um, that does uh, help in the replayability. Also the cards, because it's always a new game because you're, it's all determined on your luck. So five out of five, replayability. Uh, overall total, I would give like a four out of five, but like a seven out of 10. Uh, this is a great game. Um, as we play more and more, uh, I don't know if the score is going to go higher or lower. It's all probably determined on the luck base or if... Uh, I think there's an expansion to this, which might bring more strategy to it. And so it's a great game. Um, I just... From my own experience, um, I had a very bad round or whole game where I was not rolling anything. I wasn't able to obtain these really. And so that kind of hampered the uh, the overall total scores and everything. So I could just see how it would off-put someone. But it is a great game. And like I said, we have many games very similar to this that we enjoy. We do enjoy this game, and we're keeping it in our collection uh, because it, we can see us playing with uh, you know our grandparents, um, parents so just overall great game four out of five seven out of ten and so if you like this video please like subscribe if you want to leave comments discuss this game or anything please leave it in the comments section my social media is going to be down below in the description i don't know if i said this already but i have a link for the game or where you can buy it and i'll see you in the next video